This video we're working on solving a geometric sequence word problem. So in order to work with those word problems, it's important that you understand what those key phrases are that would tell you that it is in fact a geometric sequence. Here's some example phrases that would tell you that it is a geometric, because we're looking for that multiplier. So uh, what it is doesn't really matter, but you, what you see is that a lot of these have to do with percents. So if you earn interest of 1.5% each year, that's a geometric multiplier. If you lose 6% of the population each year, that's also a multiplier. Or doubling something implies that you're multiplying um, by, the, by 2. And depreciating by 8% means that you are losing that amount. So it's important for us to be able to turn these percents into multipliers. And there's a separate video on that as well about how to do that. But this multiplier, since your earning interest would be 1.015, that would be what your multiplier is. If you're losing 6%, then you're multiplying by 0.94, because it's 6% less than 100%, or 0.94. Doubling it, well, then you would just multiply by 2 every single time. That one's pretty straightforward. Depreciating by 8%, then depreciating is decreasing, so that would be 0.92 that you'd be multiplying by each time, just as an example. The general form of the equation that we're going to be writing is this t of n equals a times r to the n, where a is term 0, where it starts, begins, and r is the multiplier, or it might be next over previous. And that's what these examples are that particular multiplier. So let's take a look at a quick example here. We have Wilma, who bought a house for 170000 Each year it increases 2% of its value. All right, good for Wilma. So it's going up by uh, 2%. And so first of all, one way to think about this is with the table. So if you were to write out a table for your terms, you'd have n and you'd have t of n. And at month zero, initially, or year zero, um, that would be $170,000. Now we know it increases by 2% of its value every single year, so that's growing. So then our multiplier, if you turn this decimal into 0 0.02, and then it's increasing, so that means it's greater than 1, so our multiplier is going to be 1.02. So that means that one year later, this house, same house is going to be worth $173,400. So that's how much it has increased. Now you would continue to multiply by that 1.02 every single time, right? So next, the next year would be a total of $176,868. So that's how you know it's a geometric because it's not growing by the same quantity each time, it's growing by the same percent. So as we write our equation, that's going to be T of N is going to be equal to our initial value, which is that 170,000. That's how much uh, she bought it for. Now the multiplier is 1.02, and this would be to the nth power. So that would be your formula here. Turning this percent into that multiplier is important. Now the question says, what will the house be worth in 10 years? So you have to know and remember, of course, in any word problem, whether they're asking you for an input or the output for 10 years. So that would be our input, because years is the amount of n. And then you have dollars for the cost, the output, t of n. So we're going to put 10 in here. So it's really just asking us to find out what t of 10 is, which is 170,000 times 1.02 all to the 10th power. Which of this scenario, if you do that math on your calculator, you get $207,229.05. So that's a pretty good increase in the total value of your house in 10 years. That's a geometric word problem. Again, you have to pay attention to those key phrases and understand that a percent growth means a multiplier.